Hi there. So for your CPT, you are going to have to create a Google site, and that is extremely easy to do in our K-12. So what you need to do is you need to be logged into your Google Drive. So remember, um, you're going to go to google.com and you're going to sign in, and then you know that you're signed in because it'll have either your picture, your icon, or your initial here. And then from your Google Drive, you're going to go to New and More and Google Sites. So you can access it right there. You can also access it uh, in your waffle. I will, uh, I can show you that. And you get a very easy interface um, for Google Sites. So you'll notice that it comes up with a header. Um, hover over and it'll tell you you can change your image. Um, you can upload an image or you can select an existing one. Let's just pick this one for now. Um, or you can upload a special one. Um, then you can call your web page what you want. So this is my all about me, maybe. Okay, um, you can reset it if you want. You can have a banner like I have. You can have title only or a large banner. Okay, I like just the banner. All right, so then in the body of your um, your site, you have options here. So you can insert either a text box or an image and you can search or um, use an URL or you can actually upload um, by going upload and picking something that you want. Um, to include. So there's my motto maybe. You have the world at your fingertips. What are you going to do with it? One of my favorite quotes. Um, and now I have a text box here. You'll have to play around with this a little bit. So I can make this text box a little bit smaller. I can go to see where there are dots there and I can pull it down. So now I have text together with an image. And again, I can take that image, I can crop it, um, if I want, um, in this case, it doesn't give me a lot of choice here. I can add a link so that it's hyperlinked, um, and then I can certainly replace the image. Um, and I'm going to put my favorite quote. And you'll notice I can add either, I can make it be normal text, or I can make it be a title, or I can make it be a heading or I can make it be subheading, okay? And then I can align it however I want and I can hyperlink it if I want. So those are my options. And again, hovering over will give you lots of different options. Um, if I want to embed something right from either, from my Google Drive, I just click on my Google Drive and I can pull in a, a presentation, for example, and put it right in there. Um, so let's just say I want to pull in my amazing race because I'm proud of that, be whatever you want. Okay, so here's my amazing race sample. I'm gonna insert that and it will go underneath and I can drag it, move it into the middle. I can make it bigger, I can make it smaller, I can insert a text box. Um, so anything down here is, again, your Google Docs, your slides, your sheets, they are embedded in your Google site, okay? Um, if you go to themes, so you might, like the fact that um, it's sort of things are showing up this way. I can change the color of things. Now that doesn't show um, very much. Let's go there. So see how it changes with the title or the subheading. Great. Um, I can change the color. If I change it to Aristotle, it looks different. See how there's that underneath. So these are themes that you can change. Ooh, I like that. And then I like the font. So again, it's Google. So you don't even have to save anything. Once you pick one, it saves. Now, pages. Okay, if I have my header, my header um, outlined and I go to page and insert a page and I'm going to call it uh, School Achievement go done, you'll notice that the school achievements page shows up um, and it doesn't look the same as the header did. Okay. Um, how can I get it to look the same as the header? If I go to pages and plus, it should have been able, it should have done that. So it was isolated and I press new page name 
and I'm going to put awards, maybe, and done. And let's see if it does that. So notice, because I had isolated that, um, it looks the same. And you might want to do that for consistency stake. So I'm going to go back to school achievements, and I actually now don't like it anymore. I can move it. I can make awards go under. Uh, school achievements to go under awards if I want, or I can use the three dots, which always mean more, and I can actually remove from the site. If you want to have just um, one page, so again, I'm, let me put that and add a page and call it achievements and go done. Just say I want achievements to fall under, oh, that's not nice, so I'll have to make it a little bit longer. Um, if I want achievements to actually fall under or with awards, I would put it together and see how it just sort of did that. So now awards has a drop down menu, and these are sub pages. Really, it's drag and drop. The one thing you need to remember is you have to press publish for your site, and it, you can give it a web address. So I can put my name. and it's available, okay? And then I can hit publish and anyone at YCDSB K12 can see it. Um, or you can choose anyone on the web, but I, I think that might be disabled for us. Um, and then you press publish. And now when you go to preview your site, that's the way it looks. I go to home, beautiful. It shows you what it looks like on different things as well. Okay, um, and then that's it. And then if you want to see what your uh, site looks like, um, you have to go here, down, publish options, uh, view published site, and then I'm going to unpublish this actually because I don't necessarily need it to be out there for the world. But uh, view published site would would give you the the URL. If you have any questions, please come to the Library Learning Commons or ask a friend because it's very very intuitive. So good luck and have fun.